What's up guys, Coyote Works here. Well, I wanted to do a quick video today on a new option that I'm playing around with for a survival shotgun or a bush gun. So, as you guys know, a while back I built this shotgun out of an old Eastern Arm single shot 12 gauge shotgun. And the idea was a really lightweight, compact shotgun that would be a good option for a survival or a bug out gun. Now, obviously it's gonna be deficient when it comes to defensive or offensive use, but the idea was what, what would be an optimal firearm to have in an extended survival situation out in the bush or out in the wilderness where the primary purpose was getting game. And it's my opinion that a shotgun is one of the most effective and most versatile tools for purely just feeding yourself. So, one of the problems with the 12 gauge shotgun is just how big the ammo is and how difficult it would be to carry a lot of ammo. So I've been wanting to experiment around with a 20 gauge and today I'm happy to say that thanks to FedArm and Todd Stone down at Prepper Up in Primeville, I've got a 20 gauge version of the survival shotgun. So here you can see the size difference between a box of 12 gauge and a box of 20 gauge. So the 20 gauge is significantly smaller and more importantly significantly lighter, which does make it possible to carry more ammo for the 20 gauge shotgun. So this is the FedArm single shot 20 gauge shotgun and it comes pretty simple as you can see plain brown box with the shotgun inside a plastic bag and one little layer of bubble wrap on top of it. So when it comes to just pure feeding yourself or pure getting game out in the bush, I always feel like a shotgun is a really good option. And a 20 gauge shotgun is actually almost as effective as a 12 gauge in many respects. So let's take a look at this fed arm 20 gauge shotgun. So brake action, the way that you activate it is you pull back on the trigger guard and that breaks open the action. Right out of the box what I notice about this thing is it's nice and light. Another feature is that when you break the action it folds all the way over onto itself. And this is compact enough to slide into a backpack or attach to the outside of a backpack too, which makes it an option as a second gun. Another thing I really like about this is it has an actual hammer on it. And I really like having the external hammer. So, right out of the box, this thing's light, compact. Everything seems to be well built and stiff. So what I'm going to do today with this shotgun is just shoot it a few times, get a feel for it, and see if it seems solid enough to make another bush gun out of. If it is, what I'll do is I'll actually paint it up, add some accessories to it, and set it up real similar to this 12 gauge that I have here. Alright, let's see the first round through this thing. Yeah, it's got a little bit of kick to it, but not bad. One thing to know about this shotgun is it doesn't actually kick the spent shell casing out, so you have to extract it by hand. So that can be considered either a good thing or a bad thing. The downside of that is it will take you a little bit longer to reload, but the upside of that is it's easy to retrieve your cases and stick them in your pocket if you're reloading them later. So that's the Fed Arm 20 gauge shotgun, single shot. And now one of the best things about this shotgun is it retails for about 130 bucks. And where I got it was at Prepper Up in Primeville, Oregon. And sometimes they even run them on sale. I've seen them for as low as $115. So for 130 bucks, you can have a really robust single shot 20 gauge shotgun that's a fun little gun to take out and shoot rabbits or starlings or whatever other kinds of small game you want with it, but also potentially a pretty viable option for a bug out or a survival shotgun. So after shooting it a little bit, I really like it. There's, well, it's a 20 gauge, so there's hardly any recoil to it, but it's super light and compact. So I'm actually gonna take this thing home and trick it out a little bit, similar to my 12 gauge survival shotgun. So 
So I've got about 100 rounds through this now, and <clears throat> I feel pretty comfortable with its reliability. I like the way it functions, so I went ahead and shot a coat of paint on it, and then put a paracord sling on it, so this gives me a little bit extra cordage attached to the shotgun. So at least now it's got the basic look of a survival bug out bush shotgun, which is, you know, as you guys know, the look's the most important thing anyway. So every time I do one of these videos on my single shot shotguns, I always get the question of how to all the guns out there, why in the heck would I want to mess around with a single shot shotgun for a survival bug out bush gun? Well, there's a couple of reasons really. One of which is just how compact and lightweight they are. But then another reason why is just how simple and reliable they are. There's just not a lot that can go wrong with these single shot shotguns and they can tolerate a lot of adverse environmental conditions. But there's another reason why I personally just really enjoy the single shot shotguns, and that is just kind of the tradition and the aesthetics of them. When I was young growing up, a single shot 20 gauge shotgun was actually the first shotgun that I ever had. But I also kind of just enjoy the challenge of the single shot shotgun. I know when I'm carrying a single shot shotgun and I'm hunting with it that I've probably only got that one shot and I have to make that one shot count. So for me, a lot of it is just, just kind of the fun factor and the tradition factor involved with them. But I do think there's also those practical reasons that make them worth considering for a bug out survival shotgun, especially if the primary purpose of the firearm is just procuring game. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the FedArm single shot 20 gauge shotgun. Hit me up with any thoughts, comments, suggestions, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Coyote works out. What's up guys, Coyote Works here. Well, I'm here with my friend Todd Stone. You guys might know him from the Central Oregon Survival Network YouTube channel, but he's also the owner of Prepper Up down here. So what are you sending me out with now, Todd? All right, so what we got is a new round on the Fed Arms. These are the SS20. So these are coming out by Fed Arms, imported from Turkey. It's a full underfolder single shot shotgun. We usually carry them for right around about 130, but sometimes they'll drop on sale if you follow us. What's the phone number down here, Todd, if somebody wants to call and they're interested in getting one of these shotguns? Uh, it's 541-447-6930 if you guys want to give us a call. They usually have these always in stock.